Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Virgo. We have the Four of Cups here. Okay, lots of cards wanting to come out. We have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. We have the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Aries Energy. Clarify the, um, not clarify. Let's see, okay, two more coming out. We have Mirroring here and we have Hermit. So both of you, you and your twin are both in Hermit mode right now. Yeah, you and your twin are both in hermit mode with mirroring coming out and the hermit, mirroring and hermit coming out together, Virgo energy. It's like you're both being called to kind of like focus on yourself or like you're like go within, do some introspection, spend some time with yourself, do some soul searching. Or it could, like I said, it could just be that both of you guys are kind of just spending some time alone right now. Clarify the Four of Cups. Doing a lot of thinking, contemplating. We have the Ace of Wands. Somebody could maybe be feeling like, um, if you guys have been feeling bored or just like, you know, nothing's been happening, nothing is changing, like just, you feel like it's just been very boring lately or just nothing has been happening. I feel like that will be changing. Also, somebody could be feeling like they missed out on an opportunity for something that could have had a lot of potential. Tell you about the hair font. We have the two of wands. Somebody's still, somebody's thinking about a commitment in the future or somebody's still trying to figure out if they want commitment. Tie out the magician, 10 of pets. See, somebody does want to manifest something long-term or you guys are manifesting a long-term stable union, marriage, family, all that wealth, stability. Tie out mirroring and the emperor. Ooh, you know what guys? So just with, with the mirroring and the emperor going out, I mean, going out, coming out together or like the the emperor clarifying mirroring. I feel like the, um, you have shown a mask, the, the masculine energy has been shown something that they're doing some reflecting on, like, or some introspect, self introspection. I can't talk guys. I don't know why they're being shown. You've shown them something for others of you. I feel like they're finally Maybe if you guys have already been going through like a hermit mode or like a, doing a lot of introspection and work on yourself, they could finally be getting on the getting on the same path, getting on getting on the same page as you. Okay. Um. Hmm. So what what does this mean for my collective? The night. See, so yeah, somebody's coming towards you slowly. Yeah, somebody's slowly approaching you, but they are coming towards you with the Ace of Pentacles. So what about the Four of Pentacles? They're holding back for now. I think. Oh, they think you're mad at them. Or this is you guys that are holding back from them. And they're slowly coming towards you. What about the Queen of Swords, though? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Ghosting. They, there's somebody still holding on to you. Even if you guys block this person, you set boundaries with them, you cut them off, you cuss them out, whatever you did, because you felt like you couldn't trust them. I feel like somebody just still feels like it's not over. You guys may even feel like it's not over, even if you did have to, like, set boundaries or cut somebody off or stop speaking to them or whatever. We have a King of Cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy, the Seven of Pentacles. You, there is a masculine energy here who's doing a lot of thinking about their future. Like, they're thinking a lot of, about what they want for themselves. And I feel like they're thinking that they want you, but they may feel like... What's the problem here? Queen of Cups? What about the Queen of Cups? Justice. Soul contract. Oh, Five of Cups. They maybe got themselves into some type of like karmic contract or they got involved with some type of karmic. Could have been a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio that they are in. They're, they're, they regret getting involved with that person, but they definitely went through some type of karma. I feel like it wasn't with you. But this is this pushed this person to realize that like, I need to work on myself. I need to start making better choices. Because I think that they maybe made, for some of you, they made the wrong choice. They made a bad choice. They regret this choice now. It's like as soon as they made this choice to whatever, whoever this Queen of Cups was, they entered a karmic contract or they had a soul contract with this person. They regret it though, or they regret getting involved with this Queen of Cups. Let me see here. Five, three of Pentacles, collaborating with this person, getting, it could have been somebody that they worked with. Tell me more. Strength. What about strength? growth what's the strength leo energy heavy we have strength and the sun leo energy they're move. what are they moving on from here some type of deception infidelity lies ready to move on what's that do with my collective you've waited a long time for somebody to do something here 
Yeah, even if you guys aren't really wait, sitting there waiting on them, like you guys were kind of putting your life on hold for them or trying to bear with them, trying to compromise with them, trying to be understanding, things like that at some point. And you were waiting, were you waiting for this person to want to work with you? It's like you were kind of trying to bear with this person while they were trying to get their life together. Yeah, like while they were trying to get their life together, they were like holding back their emotions from you. They had a lot of obstacles. You, I feel like you tried to stay optimistic that things would get better or something like that. That they would start like compromising with you or working with you. And I think you guys definitely did wait on this person. So, but they 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 betrayed you with the seven of swords. They betrayed you. They lied to you about something. What about the eight of wands and the seven of swords? The devil. Yeah. I think that they, for some of you, they have a sex addiction. They could have, they could have been lustful with the eight of wands and the devil here. Yeah. What about the devil? Capricorn energy? Yeah. Look at this sexual encounter. Woo, guys. I can't make it up. Yep. What's that do with, so they betrayed you by sleeping with somebody else? Yeah. It doesn't totally understand their love for you. So what's that do with anything? Yeah. Knight of wands. Yeah. Man, if, what? They want you back. Why do they want you back now? Yeah, somebody's kind of moving into alignment now. When they were on a... Yeah, but why is Five of Swords here? Clean up. They, it's like this person was trying to convince you that... Or trying to make it seem like they were getting their life together. Meanwhile, they weren't. They were sleeping around and having sexual encounters. And they didn't... They were being a player. What about manifesting you, though? Wishing, wishing that what... Wishing that, what about the dark night of the, yeah, I was kind of getting that dark night of the soul. What are they wishing for? It's time, what, it's time for what? Yeah, it's like somebody maybe feels like they can't be a player anymore or they don't want to be a player anymore. And I just did a reading like this yesterday. I forget which sign it was. Hmm. I don't know if it was Sag. It was, I mean, I did Sag and Leo yesterday, so it had to be one of those. We did have heavy Leo energy. What else? Okay, I'm dropping cards now. What else do they need to know? I just saw the tower. What was the tower? What's the tower moment? Awakening. Yeah, I know that. Somebody's having an awakening. What's triggering the awakening? It's you. When you guys, you guys either ghosted this person, stopped speaking to them, became less available to them. I don't know. There's something that happened. What? Tell me more about ghosting. I'm telling you, five of cups, or they regret ghosting you. But what does that do with my collective? What am I? What's triggering the the sun? Yeah. What about the sun? Leo energy. The ace of swords. Something came to light, or something became clear. That what? That you oh. That you were their nine of cups, you were their wish fulfillment. That they somebody it's becoming very clear to somebody that that you're the one that they want. They want to take things to the next level. But why now though? That's what I always ask. Like, why now? Yeah, I'm telling you, they tried, they this is a, a long time coming. It took this person a really long time to decide this. Why? Yeah, because Hane Man, for some of you, they had to let something go. For others of you, it just took some time for this person to put things into perspective, to see things from your perspective. Page of Wands. What about Page of Wands? Sexual encounter. This person had to let go of their need to like have like one night stands or something like that. Or like, I don't know. There was something about this person. Yeah, what about Ten of Swords? The Fool. There's something they needed to end. For some of you, they needed to end a relationship with somebody that it was just strictly sexual. It was just, it was, there was no deep feelings there. And what's that do with you guys? What's that do with you guys? Let's see, the Knight of Wands. That's player energy manifesting you. This doesn't make sense. Eight of Swords. Who's in the Eight of Swords? The Two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody stuck in indecision can't get out of their head. What? Well, what about the Knight of Wands, though? Cannot be trusted. Yeah. If somebody, see, this is also giving me that energy of the reading I did a few days ago where somebody's trying to manifest you to come back toward them, but you don't trust them. 
Yeah, Pace. Yeah, they've been watching you, keeping tabs on you, curious about you since this ending. Yeah, since this ending occurred. What about the Queen of Pentacles? The nine. Of, why are they stressed out over the Queen of Pentacles? The date. Ten of Cups. So you you block this person out. So for some of you, you oh, for some of you, you block this person. Yeah, for some of you, you definitely blocked this person. They were watching you. Now they can't want you no more. You eliminated access to you. Like, you've eliminated the access that they did have to you in some way. Some of you guys are maybe not even speaking to them, but now they can't even spy on you anymore. So now what? <laughs> now what? They could be thinking about taking some type of risk to try to get you back. That Knight of Wands and that manifesting you. They, they're contemplating taking a risk or a leap of faith to try to do something to get you back. So I feel like for a lot of you, you've blocked this person or you've, been, you've, you've decreased or completely eliminated the access that they had to you. So now what? Okay, we have, not, now they're coming, yep. Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. They're coming in with some type of offer. There's that long wait again. What about long wait? I don't like that. It's like this person wants you to wait on them or something. I don't like that. It's like they're getting clarity that they do want something long term with you. But at the same time, why are they wanting you to, to wait on them? The Empress. Okay. What about the Empress? Date. They want to spend time with you. But why? Yeah. What's the High Priestess though? Pisces energy. The Ten of Cups. What's the Ten of Cups? Waiting. See, I told you. Waiting on what? Page of Pentacles. It's almost like this person's been waiting on you. Yeah, it's like they've been waiting on you to come in and like show that you still want them or that you still need them or they, they've been wait hopeful that you'll return, but now what? You're not though. Yeah, I feel like you're not. What about the chariot? Cancer energy. Somebody's taking action. And what does my collector need to do about this? The Ten of Wands. Mm. They they got a lot of work that they got to do. Ten of Wands, clean up. They, so ha they haven't done this yet, have they? Have they? No. No. This person's still toxic. This person just wants, yeah, they're they're being deceptive. Seven of, seven of Swords, yeah. Yeah, Dark Knight of the Soul. Give me one, one clarifier on Dark Knight of the Soul. Yeah, they're in the process of learning karmic lessons. So whatever situation they've gotten themselves involved in, that they are very regretful for getting themselves involved in, that's where I keep picking up on this energy in all my readings. This is where they're at right now, and this hardship that they're going through right now is where they need to be. And that's where they're going to learn and grow and, you know, change and evolve. Like that's where they need to, whoever they got involved with, they regret it. But this is this happened so that things can change. I know that some of you guys are not going to want to hear that this person had to go off and be in another relationship or be with somebody else for things to change. But apparently that's what the divine saw. The, the divine knew that that's what needed to happen, I guess, for whatever reason. So I do see them coming towards you because they feel for some of you, they were keeping tabs on you. They're in a whole nother situation. They, they were keeping tabs on you. You guys blocked this person or whatever access they did have to you. You eliminated that. So now they're trying to come towards you. I think they're going to try to get you to wait on them while they're, what are the, what are they getting? Because they still got to clean up, cut off a karmic. They got more work that they need to do on themselves before they can be ready for you. They got a lot of burdens. What is keeping them from cutting off that karmic or karmics or closing off that cycle? What is keeping them from doing that? Hmm. They're maybe very close to doing it. What's keeping them from doing it? See, what is manifesting you? Cold as ice. What is keeping them from leaving that other, whatever it is that they need to let go of? What is keeping them from letting it go? Ghosting. Three of swords. Hmm. The fool. The Nine of Cups. I don't know. I think they're going to just take a leap of faith towards you, even though they know they're not 100% ready because they view you as their wish fulfillment. Hmm. 
Let's get some um, clarifiers because, yeah. What is going on here? Let's do these. Hmm, they're telling me to use a different deck. Give me a second. While I find it in all of my messy desk right now. Have. Yeah, somebody feels like this is they they're either they've run out of chances or that window for them to come in and try to be with you or make something right with you is getting very it's about it's about to close or it's about to be over. Yeah, last chance, all or nothing, not playing games. Like, yeah, somebody feels like they either have to come towards you all or nothing, or that they've run out of chances or they're very close to running out of chances with you. Yeah, there's that lone wolf energy. Free spirit, happy, single, choosing to stay single. Okay, what does that do with anything? Ooh. So somebody is, we have a social circle and outside influences. So somebody is kind of like isolating from their circle. I don't know if this is you or them. What does this mean for this person? We have secret admirer, unaware of admirer's feelings, fear of rejection, someone's secretly watching you. Didn't I just say that? They could either be kind of isolating from their circle of people and also keeping it a secret from these people that they're watching you. Or, hmm. It's like somebody's fantasizing about you, admiring you from afar. But what? What's the problem then? They know that they need to take time. To, they, they maybe think y'all need a break or you guys have been on a break or they needed a break from this. Tell me about nature calls. Clean up crew. Yeah. Y'all needed a break or they needed to take a break from you because they yeah, are making healthy choices. Maybe someone's choosing to stay single because they know that they're not, they're not ready to be in a relationship. Cleaning up life, getting rid of distractions, making healthy choices. Okay, what's that do with my collective? Twin flame. Oh, here we go. Yes, they are your twin flame, yin and yang, life forever changed. Both of you guys are kind of like isolating from your circle and like cutting people off or something like that. You guys are maybe both like going through a period of like singlehood and like, it's almost like you guys are going through the same shit right now. It's like you guys are both in this period where you're like kind of isolating from people. You're not dating anybody. You're focusing on yourself. You're trying to get your life together. So what about this social circle and these outside influences? Because they did have some people in there. Yeah, they were like these people that they were loyal to. Loyal and devoted, unconditional love, protection. Okay, so now what? Trick or Ooh. They're questioning these people around them now. They thought at some point that they were very loyal to these people or this person. They thought these people unconditionally loved them and that they were loyal and devo devoted to them and they are very like protective over them or defensive when it came to those people. But with trick or treat here, they they either found out that somebody, it, it's like now they're questioning somebody's intentions. Why? Yeah, they're closing themselves off to these people because they, they don't trust these people anymore. Why? Because... Oh, maybe they had people around them, too, that was telling them that, you know, you weren't, that you were, that they couldn't, you, that they couldn't trust you or that they were just playing, that you were just playing games with them or that, yeah, something like that. These people in their ear. And that's why they were kind of guarded and closed off to this. Yeah. Avoid. Yeah. Or there's something about. Mm -hmm. but I see them feeling like you're one of a kind or that they're not going to be able to replace you. I see them in this energy of like wanting to be more 
open and vulnerable. The hand of fate. What's up with these outside? What about these outside outside influences and these social circle? Yeah, fleeting moments, losing track of time quicker than expected. What is that? Somebody's returning. But what's this have to do with their social circle and their sleepless nights? For some of you, there so there are people around them were telling them, oh, they'll be back. You know, they'll they they won't be gone for long. Like they're just this is just a break. Like it's like some of you they really thought this was just a break. But now somebody's losing sleep. Why? Why is someone losing sleep? Someone's healing their inner child. Yeah, and that's why they're opening, being able to open their heart more. But why is why is someone lack of sleep breaking point all consuming worries? Meant to be together, love that transform divine mission together. So yeah, encountering you in yeah. But what about these karmic ties? People that they have history with. They could have went yeah. What about a miracle though? Strangely lonely. See, they they let their yeah. They're leaving like some people behind, a karmic, a social circle, like they're leaving some people behind here and coming in to fight for you. And this is, you may even view this as like a, this is something you maybe even manifested. Yeah, this is justice. Yeah, this is justice. Somebody taking a leap of faith to kind of trying to bring, just, to bring justice to a situation with you. Yeah, the feeling is mutual, falling in love, equal effort. This is something you wish for. Yeah, wishes coming true, magical energies. So tell me more about this person's energy. Stru yeah, reviving what was lost. They're going to try to bring this out of the cold or bring this, if, you know, it may seem like a dead situation, but someone's going to try to revive this with this Ace of Wands here. Yeah, someone's going to try to revive this and get out of their comfort zone. Yeah, because they feel like this is a divine love. They're having a heart chakra activation here. Miss Lazy Daisy, but they're not taking action just yet. Even though there's this unbreakable bond between the two of you. They're, they're, what are they hesitant about or doubtful about? Skeptical. See, I think that they're worried that, like, because of the way that things ended between the two of you, that you're angry at them. Yeah. So, it's like, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. They're thinking about the way that they cut you off or the way that things ended. And now they don't know if, like, you're pissed off at them. So what are they going to do? They're procrastinating making any effort right now because they're afraid of rejection. But yeah, they're still in indecision right now. Yeah, they're still in indecision. And they're kind of like, yeah, jealous one. They're, they're afraid of losing. Some of you guys definitely block this person or you just cut them off abruptly. And they definitely kind of feel a little bit rejected by that already. And I think that they are afraid that they're losing you. They don't want to lose you, though. What about ancient history? Not amused. They, the person, if they went back to somebody from their past or there's somebody that they have history with, they feel very bored with that situation or they're fed up with that situation. But they don't care about it anymore. They're, they're ready to follow the signs and synchronicities. Close out a cycle here. They've learned, learned some difficult situations, some difficult lessons with that person. And they're ready to step through, you know, choose a path here. And that path is you. Yeah. Yeah, that path is you. So, yeah, you will hear from this person soon. Yeah, but yeah, they got some mess going on here, though. Circus in town, drama out of control, unpredictable. Maybe they're returning, but they don't know what to expect. Yeah, that's what it is. They're returning, but they're taking action, but they don't know what to expect. Yeah. But they do feel like you guys are a great match. They, This person kind of feel, views you as their safe space, too, whether they've ever told you that or not. They kind of feel like you are home. They feel they. It's weird because, like, they do feel comfortable with you, but... It's, it's like foreign, but it also felt comfortable to them. And I think that it did, that didn't make sense to them. So like when they're with you, they do feel comfortable. It does feel like home, but they're like, how can somebody that I just met or somebody that I don't even know that well, or whatever the circumstances, how could they make me feel that way? That doesn't make sense. So they just ran from it. They were choosing like history over like, oh, well, th this situation makes more, I've known this person longer. I have more history with this person. Like that, it's like, they thought that that made sense. They thought that that, that, that situation was more predictable. Hmm. All right. Hmm. All right.